Welcome back to the PC Gaming Vortex. Once again, my name is Hikaru, and we are playing Dungeons and Dragons Online. I am joined with by Dark Relic here, uh, known as Fate Dark Relic. In this game, he's playing a human paladin. Uh, we've just exited the tutorial quest, and we are going to go into the city of Corthos to get started. We got a quest right up here with the goblet with the check mark. Okay, looks like it's a tutorial. Oops. Looks like it's a tutorial quest that actually will take us to the uh, binder, so that we can bind our character in case we die. We will come back where we bound the character. So let's go do that. It's right over here in the tavern. Tavern's always a good spot for it. The Wave Crest Tavern. There we go. I am now bound here. Did you get ni nice and bound there, Dark? Uh, looks like it, yeah. Cool. Quests in here are a little higher level, so we're going to head back out. Which is very unfortunate, because that's where all the beer is. That's true. That is true. Down to your right. Oh, I see ya. It's right back here. We're going to go over to the tomb, and we'll do that quest first. From... Kaja. Bower Dadder, huh? Yeah. Okay, so here when you click on it, it's going to ask difficulty levels. I'm going to go ahead and set it to normal. We can't really do anything higher for the first try because the uh, we're not subscribers. And due to be not being subscribers, you can't choose that first try. Uh, there is something in the, the store, the cash shop, that you can purchase to allow you to do it first try through on a harder difficulty. Otherwise, just after you've done it, you can go back in at a harder difficulty. It should be really easy because it's built to be done by one Coming person. Coming from We're deep going in the two. crypt, you hear the strange and unsettling echoes that Kaya spoke of. And by the passage leading in, a grim faced man glares at you. He's glaring at me? Ooh, he is. How dare he? Strange? Sarcophagi line the walls, but they're broken open and empty. Where did the bodies go? Strange. I wonder where they went. Where indeed? Oh, enemies down there. What were those cultists up to? This bears more investigation. The first one died just from me looking at it. I saw that. You you are quite quite the, the strength to be dealt with. A treasure chest glimmers in the dark passage here. Though it's rusty, like were this longsword is still sharp. It's a slashing weapon, perfect for slicing through putrid zombie flesh that would resist puncturing or bludgeoning weapons. Cool. Very good. Good for uh, cutting through zombie flesh. There's a Sahuagin in here, performing some kind of ritual. Come, dead son of Corthos, rise and do my bidding. The altar glows with dark power, and the Sahuagin continues. Kill, kill every. The Sahuagin were using this vile devourer altar to create undead. This must not be allowed. A magical crest appears from the destroyed altar. If you take it with you, it may be useful later. You continue to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt. Did you grab that crest? It may be useful later. I did. 
I hear they're doing stuff deeper inside the crypt. As you slay these foul cultists, take care to keep your own health up. This is actually new. The uh, quest was here originally, but the dungeon master is a different dungeon master. The original dungeon master um, d apparently did not come back to revoice this, but uh, it was this quest another was treasure different. chest. Perhaps the cultists brought it here, but it's yours now. This heavy mace is a bludgeoning weapon, ideal for smashing apart skeletons. Their bones are resistant to puncturing or slashing weapons. Had to lower the dungeon master. <laughs> he was very loud. There's another well, Saruagin. It croaks. Craig Wolf hated. In life, you served the light. These devour altars will create a blight of undead upon Corto. Another crest drops out as you smash the altar. There might still be other altars elsewhere in this crypt. I am laying down destruction before you can are. even get there. A little bit. I keep opening the store on accident. <laughs> I lit that guy on fire. Nice. These areas also have destructible environments. Boom. Huh. Boom. Sometimes there's money Aww. in there and stuff like that. And sometimes things actually come to life from them and attack you. I think we're okay. I don't think we need the Hellish Shrines. You doing okay over there? Oh, you actually took some damage. Wanna go rest? We will let him decide if he wants to rest or not. I'll keep going. Nice, I hit the sarcophagus behind him and exploded. Head down here. I'm gonna In guess. In the middle of this chest. chamber is right. an evil devourer altar. By it, a Sarwagon rumbles. For generations, the human Hatons have forestalled us. Sarwagon's plan must have been to you. When the altar collapses, a third crest appears. It glows with cold magic. Yeah, forgetting the third crest. Ooh, a chest. A chest? It's out in the acid sprays out of the wall ah. as the gate slams shut. There must be some mechanism controlling the trap. If you search for it, you may find it. The okay. trap here is it. set to spray acid onto whoever approaches the chest. But you can disable it now that you've found the control box. You've disconnected the trap's firing mechanism. The chest is safe to approach now. And he thought that they were going to get me with that trap. No luck. It looks like I'm actually trapped in here. Okay, looks like there's a lever here. We'll try that. There we go, it's open again. Okay, we'll keep going through. Oh, we already went this way. I think there's a door over here I can put the stuff into that'll get us through. There we go. Right on the wall here. You fit there the last go. crest in place, and the magic shield dissipates. The Sahuagin inside spits out in a venomous voice. These fools who would help Korthos shall be consumed by the Devourer. Looking down at the corpse on the altar, the Sahuagin says, 
And you, dead hero of hate and blood, shall be the devourer's teeth. Ooh, I took some damage there. Your bold action saved Korthos and brought the Sahuagin's fell scheme to naught. The treasure chest in the antechamber is now yours. Hey, treasure chest in the antechamber. Okay, and then when I'm done with the quest, I can either run all the way back to the beginning, or I could just go ahead and hit this finish button right here. If you click the XP button, it actually tells you everything you got experience for. Uh, the base experience you got for the quest itself and the difficulty you're on, plus any bonus experience you might have gotten for killing extra monsters, finding secrets, messing with traps, uh, secret doors, stuff like that. And that all has that here. You do have uh, things that you lose also if you have to die and go back in. Um, etc. You, you take penalties for that. Um, also, the completion time can get you bonuses also. Okay, so finishing just takes us right out of here. Just takes a moment to recall back out, but it'll take us back to the entrance where we came in, allowing us to turn this quest in. There we go. Just going to head right over to Kaya here. And I get to choose one of these. Let's see. Constitution and Wisdom. Or Concentration and Will Save. I'm going to go with Constitution. Okay, she gives me the option to repeat the quest, which I do not want to do. 